Suppose you are assigned a task to develop a custom software for a client. Each block below represents a step required to develop the software. Irrespective of your technical background, try and make an educated guess about the sequence of steps you will follow to achieve the task. The correct sequence would be Gather as much information as possible about the details and specifications of the desired software from the client. This is nothing but the requirements gathering stage. Plan the programming language like Java, PHP, .NET, and database like Oracle, MySQL, etc., which will best suit the project. Also determine high-level functions and architecture. This is the design stage. Actually code the software. This is the build stage. Next, you test the software to verify that it is built as per the specifications given by the client. This is the test stage. Once your software product is ready, you may do some code changes to accommodate enhancements requested by the client. This would be the maintenance stage. All these levels constitute the waterfall method of a software development lifecycle. As you may observe, testing in the model starts only after implementation is done, but if you are working on a large project where the systems are complex, it's easy to miss key details in the requirements phase itself. In such cases, an entirely wrong product will be delivered to the client. You will have to start afresh with the project. Or if you manage to note the requirements correctly, but make serious mistakes in design and architecture of your software, you will have to redesign the entire software to correct the error. Assessments of thousands of projects have shown that defects introduced during requirements and design make up close to half of the total number of defects. Also, the costs of fixing a defect increases across the development lifecycle. The earlier in the life cycle a defect is detected, the cheaper it is to fix. As they say, a stitch in time saves nine. To address this concern, the V model of testing was developed. For every phase in the development life cycle, there is a corresponding testing phase. The left side of the model is the Software Development Life Cycle, SDLC. The right side of the model is the Software Test Life Cycle, STLC. The entire figure looks like a V, hence the name V model. In this figure, you'll find a few stages different from the waterfall method. These differences, along with the details of each testing phase, will be discussed in a later tutorial. Apart from the V model, there are iterative development models, where development is carried out in phases, with each phase adding a functionality to the software. Each phase comprises of its own independent set of development and testing activities. Good examples of development life cycles following the iterative method are rapid application development and agile development. Before we close this tutorial, here are a few pointers. You must note that there are numerous development lifecycle models. The development model selected for a project depends on the aims and goals of that project. Testing is not a standalone activity, and it has to adapt with the development model chosen for the project. In any model, testing should be performed at all levels, right from requirements gathering all the way up to maintenance.